This is North Dakota Today. Well, good morning, good morning. That whistling means it is 9 o'clock, and that means it's time for North Dakota Today. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Ashlyn Hill. I'm Anna Johnson. It is Tuesday, the it's most Tuesday. productive day of the week. I Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> We're about to find out. Why do I feel like Tuesdays are harder than Mondays? It just feels like like you got to Monday and you're like, I did it, I'm back. <laughs> but yeah. we, I, I've heard people are super productive Tuesday because they're right. like, okay, we're in the swing of things. Right. We're just going to keep this momentum going. So I think you're forced to be productive on Tuesdays because on Mondays your goal was to like get through it and you're like, guess what? Meeting tomorrow. Email response tomorrow. Tuesday it is. Yeah. So then inadvertently it just became the most productive day, I think. This is an yeah. Ashlyn ism <laughs> i feel like i've seen our show schedule tomorrow will be pretty productive friday will be very productive both of them are weighted based on the amount of food in the show <laughs> productivity okay Yay. i love that that's how we're that's how we're gonna scale ours from now <laughs> yeah. on everybody okay well if you missed yesterday's big announcement don't worry we have it again big news country superstar carrie underwood is playing at the Alaris Center in Grand Forks. That is taking place on October 27th. But guess what? Valley News Live is giving away tickets. Six lucky winners, which means you guys out there viewing right now are going to be taking home some tickets. Also, the grand prize is a pair of tickets and a meet and greet with Miss Underwood. So head on over to our website, valleynewslive.com. Find the contest tab. It will lead you on from there. Registration closes on the 18th, you guys, so do not wait around. We'll be announcing those winners live on the 19th. And uh, good luck to everybody. I know what I would love to win a pair of tickets. I've already heard people are putting their names in. So Great. Great. Make sure you get in there as soon as you can. Don't want to miss the boat on that one. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't sit mm -hmm. around. Don't lag. A yeah. meet and greet? Are you kidding? That sounds awesome. You know what else sounds awesome? <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we're, wait, we're pretty close. Today's yeah. the 11th. We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. I saw something cool I thought I would share with you today. So according yes. to FrightFind.com, so there are some top haunts in our area. Some are legitimately, well, legitimately haunted. <laughs> um, and then some of them are like fun little tours you can go on or haunted houses you can check oh, out. Oh, I so, see. So yeah. we're hopping around between like yeah. real haunted, real spooky Yugi stories, like historically mm -hmm. versus like set up for the season. Yeah, and there's one or two mm. in here where it was already historically spooky and then they made it set up for the season because they're like, we already got that oh, going I love for us. That. So let's dress it up a little bit. I love that here. I let know, me just, really good stuff. Oh, thank you. Let me just uh, pass. Why not? The baton. Palmer House a Hotel in Sock Center, okay. Ghost Adventures. If you guys watch Ghost Adventures, <gasps> my words today with Zach, you know Zach. Um, he. <laughs> I do he watch Ghost Adventures. I love it. Yeah, so he explored this hotel, basically, uh, or house. What it was uh, is the original burnt down. Then they built a hotel on top of it. So they're uh, saying. Always haunted. That there's a little boy who haunts the hall. That always happens. Always. I don't know why. It's crazy. <laughs> Hotels are so haunted all the time. They're like, oh, yeah, by the way, this was built on a graveyard. Do you want to come stay for the night? And so many people do. <laughs> well, there's a really good one um, from The Shining that's in Colorado, which I hope to get to someday. That yeah. one looks cool. You can, I don't know if you can stay there, but you, you can, can tour it. Yeah, you can? It's a fully serviceable hotel. Oh, man. I'm sure all the, the real ghost hunters out there have already known <laughs> that. But that's incredible, I think. Bucket list. Yeah, that's super fun. I mean, I don't want to mess with any spirits, but it's always fun to get a little scared, right? Just a little. Yeah, why not? Just a little. <laughs> you know, chills, some goosebumps. Just a, just a couple of them. And then uh, you may have seen this on Valley Today, but Haunted Farm in mm -hmm. Moorhead. We got mm -hmm. some scares mm -hmm. out of Jillian <laughs> on that one. That was adorable. We yeah, also we love that. have, if you haven't been, Acres of Terror mm -hmm. in Leonard. Uh, if they're still doing what they used to, you have to sign a sheet oh, for no, liability. No, no. Not for me. To get on the bus, and that's just like. It's a bus? A, they take you on a bus, like a super crazy. You're bouncing around, you're knocking off a wall. <laughs> it's fun, though. It's fun. It, I like it a lot. That just made me think of the Harry Potter scene when the bus picks oh, him yeah. up and it's like that crazy ride and they're stretching and shrinking. If you've seen that, that looks great. That's literally what came to mind. Maybe it's like that. Um, well, good luck to you. Anything they have to sign a waiver for is a no for me. <laughs> like I said, I like to be a little scared, not like fighting for my life. <laughs> right. Well, if you happen to be going out west uh, toward the Bismarck Man, Dan area, Fort Abraham Lincoln is an actual fort. Oh. It's a historical thing, yeah. um, but it's also said to be super haunted. So the Custer House is one of the top 10 haunted places <gasps> in the state, they say. And uh, because of that, they're like, hey, let's decorate it for Halloween. So, okay. 
brace yourself. Oh no. They have a battlefield with zombies <gasps> and you can paint gun them. <laughs> So it's a zombie. We've just combined so many activities. The Walking Dead, a paintball corn maze, (laughs) ghost hunting, zombie hunting. Like, wow. Doesn't that sound awesome, though? Um, For a lot of people, I'm sure it does. For a lot of people, you'll really enjoy that. (laughs) Well, if you are going the opposite way, you're going east to the cities, hauntedrooms.com says here are some legitimately haunted places. Okay. Uh, The Washington Street Bridge in Minneapolis, Mm. the Fitzgerald Theater in St. Paul, and the Warden's House in Stillwater, they say those are legitimately haunted. But you can also check out uh, Wabasha Street Caves, which is a house or a hotel built into the side of a mountain in caves. That place looks awesome. Uh, and you guys will probably cool. recognize First Avenue, which is famous. You can see there's stars here. Those are from First Ave. That's where a lot of very important people hmm. played in Minneapolis. And I actually knew about this uh, before doing a little bit of research. Minneapolis City Hall. Haunted. Yeah. How Dang. cool. I was reading a book. I've mentioned this book to you guys before. Um, but I was reading a book by Adrian Lee. And he <laughs> lives in Minneapolis. But he's from Scotland. I don't know. Somewhere interesting. Cool. Britain? I don't know. Uh, anyway, super cool guy. <laughs> but he ta- that's the first thing in his book is Minneapolis City Hall. And and how it's haunted? Yeah. Oh, my it's goodness. Awesome. Yeah. Imagine so. just going in for any actual reason, like running an errand and needing to go to City Hall and just getting haunted. <laughs> or if you work there. Like, <gasps> oh, ew. So creepy. Yeah. So creepy. Okay, yeah. and on that note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on, Um, coming up, we've got Homecoming Week at UND, and they have a recently unveiled building. Looks incredible, so we're going to hear all about that. And up first, your local steals and deals, everybody.